Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Arnold & Son DBG from the Instrument Collection. This 44mm manually wound twin balance twin time traveler's watch can be seen and purchased on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this Arnold & Son DBG in rose gold. Now on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that this watch is large. It's large, it's extravagant. It makes a statement even as it offers perhaps the most practical of complications in the most refined possible fashion. So let's talk about fit and then elaborate on that complication. 44 millimeters across the round of the case. Note the twin crowns arrayed horizontally from 9 to 3 conventionally. Expanding the case past 44 millimeters, if you were to add them into the equation, the watch becomes about 47 side to side. In terms of thickness, well, frankly, it's not that thick. 10.1 millimeters with a conical bezel, it does easily slide underneath a dress cuff. From lug to lug, the watch is once again large but not oversized. 49 millimeters with generously curved lugs. This watch wears well, though it's large, on smaller wrists, and I believe even on a wrist as small as perhaps 14 and a half centimeters in circumference, you should be able to wear this watch with security and style. So let's talk a little bit about the case, the complication, and the movement. The case is slim. It's wider at the top than at the bottom, so it splays out over the wrist as it rises. It features strong character lines that continue from the case band into the lugs, all of high polish. And nevertheless, it's not about the gold so much as it's about the dial. The dial being pared down to maximize, or rather the bezel being pared down to maximize the dial. You can also see the watch featuring curved spring bars for minimal daylight showing between strap and case flank. The strap itself being a very dark brown alligator leather strap large scale, minimally bolstered, folded edges with a simple 18 karat red gold Arnold & Son pin buckle. Now Arnold & Son is the brand associated with the manufacturer La Joux Pere. La Joux Pere, with vast technological capabilities, reasoned that the world was large enough for another travel watch provided it would be a travel watch that offered the rare refinement of individual minute setting. So you can see when I pull the crown at 9 o'clock, now I can set my second time zone to the minute. Most travel time watches will allow you to adjust the hour of a second time zone independently. Here, however, I can adjust to the minute. So if I'm at one of those localities that has a time deviation from time zone as small as 15 minutes, I can easily account for that on my reference time. And you'll note, skeletonized indicators at the end of these hands, also differential numerals, Arabic and Roman. Nevertheless, the real detail is that the 24-hour reference hand that's coordinated to each dial matches the hand style on that dial. So you can see, as I continue to advance my second time zone, the skeletonized stub hand on the 24-hour dial advances in sync. Now, Independent setting of the time zones down to the minute is a feature seen on very few travel watches. The Jezure Lecoult Duomet Universal Travel Time does it. Also, the Parmigiani Fleurier Tonda Hemispheres does it. And of course, the Arnold & Son DBG. And that's about it. Now, the balances operate in parallel. Two escapements, two balances, two balance cocks, and yes, two mainspring barrels to power them. This is the Arnold & Son caliber 1209 42 joules manual wind, 40 hour power reserve for each barrel, operating at a stately 21,600 vibrations per hour. It is an attractive movement with a fine and thin set of linear Cote de Genève, a spectacular spiral dressage on the ratchet wheels of the mainspring barrels, and a gorgeous rounded set of blued screws along with gorgeous violet gems, of course synthetic ruby for pivots, set into the bridges. But you can see that this movement has been designed. These wheels, screws, and pivots didn't just fall where they may in some sort of CAD CAM program. The watch movement itself was designed from an engineer's standpoint to function well, but also from a designer's standpoint to be appealing to the eye. So this watch succeeds in that manner on both sides, but let's clearly specify what this watch is not. This is not a resonance timepiece. Arnold & Son makes no specific claims about the 
mutual interference positive or negative of the balances in proximity. While the watch does look a lot like the FP Journ Resonance series, make no mistake, this watch is not designed to emulate that specific function. This watch is designed to provide a spectacular visage atop a bedrock complication for horology fans. A dual time like few others with a spectacular presentation and the watch absolutely succeeds on that count. With 3HM water resistance, this one's designed for enjoyment high and dry during your travels. Nevertheless, this is a timepiece that could be of use to anyone from frequent world wanderers to those who simply have friends and family in far-flung places and need to keep track to the minute. You can see and you can purchase this rose gold 44mm Arnold and Son DBG on our website.